Good afternoon, college. There is no other name than the name that is Jesus. Can I get an amen? Come on, amen in the chats. All right, I feel led to encourage you guys with this right here. I want you to know that the most important thing that you can do in this season and for the rest of your life is to put Jesus first and last. First and last. All right, I'm gonna go to the story of the 10 lepers where Jesus healed one of them. It's in Luke chapter 17, verse 12. It says this, as he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, and this is it, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. Now, this is what I want to encourage us with today, is that, it's not just about starting, but it's about the finish. It's about coming back to God. I think so many of us, I've had so many seasons in my life where I haven't uh, had a firm devotional life. I haven't really thought to go back at the end of my night and praise God for what he did. But in those seasons, those have been the harder seasons. Those have been the worst seasons. But in the seasons where no matter what came my way, I came and presented my, my heart to God, thanked him for what he'd done, those have been the best seasons of my life. And I encourage you because I believe that the Lord wants to do something fresh in each and every one of our hearts and all throughout college. In this season, he wants to bring dead things to life. And so I promise you, I promise you that life will be better when we come back and we thank Jesus. Life will be better. You will be a better student. You will be a better spouse. Somebody's praying for that. You'll be a better spouse. You will be a better coworker. You will be better. Your community will be better because of the time that you spend with the Lord. And so let me encourage you. It's for you and him, but also it blesses the people around him. Make him a priority. It's hard to stray when you keep something near. It's hard to stray when you keep the word of God, when you keep the presence of God near. So please, may I plead with you, pursue Jesus with everything you've got. Some of you may have felt like this past season was hard because you were in a winter season. Well, I've got news for you. Winter is over. The dead is gone. Spring is here. There is a fresh wave and a fresh love for you and your relationship with God. And so I encourage you, go after it with everything you got. He is better. He is the best. And put him first and last. I love you. He loves you. Have a great rest of your chapel. God bless. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in with us today. We have exciting things coming up at Hillsong College. Go ahead and click and subscribe on YouTube at the studios at Hillsong College and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.